Malnutrition is a major demographic challenge to the cold mountainous Kabale district. The pediatric ward at Kabale Regional Referral Hospital is ever busy as it is occupied by six malnourished children on a daily basis. Sister Akurut Christine, the principal nursing officer, says the malnutrition is caused by poor cooking methods and food lacking in essential nutrients. The most common food stuff here is Irish potatoes, beans, matoke and peas. When you look at the kind of food that the people in Kabale produce, like it is perishable food apart from maybe the beans. So I think the problem is with the food. There is not adequate food really that they can preserve. Their foods are mainly perishable. They grow Irish potatoes, they grow cabbages, beans on a little scale. They are preparing the food as usual. But when they are preparing, they just look at the children, what the children likes, and that's what they depend on. The Uganda Demographic Health Survey 2011 showed that in Uganda, 1 in 19 children die before their first birthday and 1 in 11 die before their fifth birthday and malnutrition contributes to 60% of these deaths, making malnutrition one of the most significant contributors to child mortality in the country. In Kabale district, the problem is compounded by a lack of cash crops, with the population having to rely on the selling off of the cultivated cash crops for income. I think they have commercialized the thing so much. Most of the food that is produced is actually sold, other than being consumed in the families. Sometimes when we get out into the field, there you find trucks in the gardens. As the people are putting the, the Irish potatoes, there is a truck awaiting. Kabale Regional Referral Hospital handles the four Kigezi sub-region districts of Kisoro, Kabale, Rukunjiri and Kanungu. Catchment area is four, that is Kisoro, Kanungu, Rukunjiri and Kabale. We get a few, we get a few cases from Kanungu. The, the, the patients and the caretakers in, in, in Kabale find it easy to come to Kabale Hospital. There could be many out in the other districts and they are not coming. But the number that we get here, majority of them are from Kabale District. Kabale District is most affected by the problem, with most admitted patients lacking proteins necessary in fighting kwasha core. It is mainly protein energy deficiency. The hospital from the American-funded Strengthening Partnerships, Results and Innovations in Nutrition Globally Spring Project is sensitizing mothers on how to safeguard against malnutrition in their homes. They also trained village health teams because we also work with the community such that those people are able to assess people who need some support in as far as nutrition is concerned and they refer them to us here as a hospital for, for management. So, let's go. And we've been in touch whenever there is anything that we do not understand. We've been contact, contacting them and they have been supporting us. Unfortunately, many cured children are usually readmitted after a few months. You get children, we rehabilitate them, they recover, they get home. And in about two, three weeks, one month, you may be able to see the same child. So we actually feel that the problem is down in the community. The country is currently implementing a five-year plan dubbed Uganda Nutrition Action Plan 2011 to 2016. But with roughly one and a half years to its end, much more needs to be done to secure Uganda's future. Report compiled by Bahati Remy for NBS Television, Sunset News.